Hey, hello, how are you? Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel or if this is your first time seeing my face, welcome. Happy New Year, happy 2022. If I am calculating this mentally in my mind right, we in a new year, so welcome. <laughs> so, happy new year. Happy New Year, y'all. Happy 2022. We are working with natural sunlight. So as you just saw, the light's gonna be up and the light's gonna be down. But for the most part, it should be up. I'm gonna try to move around. I don't know. Anyways, I don't know. I just wanted to mention that because I always do. But welcome back. This should be the first video of 2022 for me. And I'm excited because it just like feels like it's starting fresh new vibes and that is my plan that is the vibe those are my plans my goals going into the new year it's just focusing on moving forward bringing in a new in all aspects of life we haven't even scratched the surface of the things that we need to actually decorate in this house so i'm excited to like start off here i'm in my master bedroom y'all i like this um shot by the way I'm never in here. I am literally never in my bedroom and that kind of like is the introduction of this video y'all. This video is inspired by one of the very many goals that I am bringing into the new year and it's really like a very small portion of a lot of the bad habits I am wanting to work on letting go of realistically. A lot of my bad habits aren't things that started yesterday so I know that you know things take time but this is one thing that is going to be a major focus for me and i think that it affects more than i realize so i'm excited to not only like share with y'all like things that we're changing up and things that we are doing in the master bedroom but most importantly i'm excited to like begin to like change parts of the lifestyle that i have been living so let's do a quick little pop quiz and we're gonna see how much how well y'all know me, okay? I know if, if you're thinking too hard, you're probably like, girl, how are you supposed to know that? A lot of y'all already know. What is like the worst sleeping habit that I have? Comment below right now, okay? Now that we over that, sleeping on the couch. A lot of y'all already know, I sleep on my couch. And I sleep on my couch notoriously. I don't like, oh my God, I slept on the couch last night. I'll never do it again. Y'all, I've been sleeping on my couch every night. I have slept in my bed a handful of times since I got that couch. And I can't even blame the couch. I have been a serious couch sleeper like as long as I can remember. When I lived in my apartments back in Kansas City, here in Florida, regardless of the location, I don't know what it is but I end up on the couch. I end up on the couch. A big goal for me this year is to break that bad habit, y'all. Not only for the longevity and like the use of my new couch, by the way, but it's not healthy. It's not healthy for so many reasons for me to just be sleeping on my couch. So I am forcing myself into my master. For those that are familiar, this is kind of still a blank slate. I've only gotten my bed. I don't even have bedding, furniture, or any 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 attention. I haven't put any attention into the master bedroom because I don't like to rush things when it comes to home decor, home interior, and just creating a space. I like pieces that speak to me. And I truly feel like while you can kind of get things at once, it's not impossible for it to be beautiful my home for me it's a feel so collectively as time goes we are gonna really really get into this room but it's just not yet the time to like go ham on this room however when i decided that enough is enough i'm not sleeping on the couch anymore i am utilizing my master bedroom i had to have a little conversation with myself and i realized a couple of things i did get the basics for the bed i got new sheets pillowcase mattress cover like 
the necessities for my bed. My bed is a king. I'm gonna show y'all before we actually like switch things over. I'm still using my queen duvet cover from Target from years ago, from the queen bed set that is actually in the guest bedroom now, y'all. The cover don't even go, y'all see, you will see. But I'm still using my old bedding. While it's clean, it has spots and stains, but it's the cover that I've been having for years and years, so it's still like super comforting to me. But I was like, yeah, you haven't given your bed any like love, you haven't made it a space that you wanna hop into, get comfortable and just like, and just want to sleep in your bed. So, so I decided to just go ahead, get the bedding that I have been looking at eyeing for the longest. The budgeter in me was like waiting for either like a sale or like allow a little bit more time to see if anything else surfaces that I'm interested in. I've had companies reach out to me and offer to send me bedding, but the bedding just wasn't what I want and like free or not it's just got to make sense for my space so I know I have talked a lot I'm sorry y'all and actually I'm not sorry you over here you gotta understand I ramble I talk welcome if that's bothersome to you there's many people who don't talk as much and I'm sure they would love to have you but I, I don't want to say that I never say that because I feel like I don't need to say that it's probably the only time I will ever say that but I ramble, I talk, I do what organically comes from me. So if you enjoy that, lovely. If you don't, also lovely. Have a beautiful day either way. <laughs> so with all that being said, y'all, I have been eyeing Target's Casa Luna collection for the longest. I love the neutral, organic, soft, some warm, but very, very tonal colors and blends if you're not familiar with it they have this is not sponsored by the way <laughs> i feel like this is, is not sponsored this is really just me sharing what i chose to go <laughs> for bedding in my master bedroom but i just thought i would say that i did a lot of research but never actually like went through the aisles and like felt the fabrics and like really really like got up and close with it so i'm going to share with y'all the clips that i have on my trip to target i also went to home goods y'all and we found a whole other thing that we're gonna get into after this so i'm really gonna need your opinions because like i said new year new vibes we are getting into it i am excited to continue to decorate this house. So let me insert this shop with me clip and then we are gonna come back. I'm gonna show you what I got. We are gonna set the new bed up and then a few more really exciting home decor updates, items. So stay tuned and let's go shopping. same 
texture material, but it's the same style. And I've never seen this one before. This is new at Home Goods. So if you're looking for this type of style, keep a lookout. I love that. The wood finish is very unique. Beautiful. Now I love this. It's like the perfect size console for the living room. It's like since everything else is so neutral, I wanted my console table to have like a wood tone. But I really love this. Like I really love this. Soft clothes. $5.99. What do we think about this? This is definitely one of those things that will be gone tomorrow, if not tonight. But I just feel like it's too... I feel like it'll blend in versus stand out, if that makes sense. What do y'all think? Very, very sturdy though. It's beautiful, right? Oh my god, please let me know what y'all think. I did not come here for this. And I am not trying to pay $600 for no console table. But I feel like it might be perfect. Okay, so as you saw, I wanted to give y'all just like a really good up close look of the Casa Luna collection. How beautiful is that bedding, y'all? It is so calming. It is so fresh. It is so cozy and welcoming. And it's literally just... It gives me all the feels so I'm very excited about this purchase y'all I consider it to be an investment because I know I like to budget I know I like to get the best pricing but there are certain things I'm willing to pay a little bit more for because I consider them good investments and this is definitely one so let's get straight into it and let me show you what I got all right so the first thing that I got is the linen blend duvet cover set like I said my bed is a king I am gonna turn the exposure down for this because I want you to kind of get a feel for the actual color it's it, it's white it's an obvious white but it's not a it's not a stark cold white while it is a white there is a undertone of cream in this in no way am I saying that this is a cream bedding but there's a difference between like a bright white almost with like blue undertones you know what i mean um and this this is a calm white i would say so this is the white it's the linen blend i love the texture of this y'all i love the texture of this y'all it's literally like i wanted to really like switch up what i normally would go for just like my regular schmegular bedding the sheet set that I already have is fairly new and it's bamboo. It's comfortable, so I'm gonna keep that as is. I'm gonna see how much I like this because I might consider switching out my sheet set for the Casa Luna collection, just so I have it all as a whole, but that's not a priority for me right now. But this is super, super heavy. This is the duvet cover. They also have this just as a comforter and it's like i think it's called like the heavyweight linen a lot of the reviews say that that's like super heavy so it can get hot me personally i just prefer the duvet style covers i already have a duvet for a king bed i purchased that a couple of months ago um i'll show you the one that i got if anybody is interested i think i got that from like marshall's or something like that but i like the ability to take off my covers wash them no problem I love it, this is white, so I can always just add some bleach, like give it a really good clean. And I love that this one zips. The duvet I currently have, it like, you have to button it up, but I'm really excited about this, y'all. It's super heavy, like I said. I'll give y'all a closer look at it once I get everything set up. But this is the Heavyweight Linen Blend Duvet Cover Set in King, and it comes with the duvet cover and two pillow shams. This was $129. The second thing I got is the Casa Luna Knit Blanket. And I also got this in King. Do you see this? This is, oh my God, oh my God. First of all, this was $79, okay? Typically, I'm not buying no throw for 80 bucks, okay? Plus, with tax, okay? 
but when I tell you this is not just a throw this is an actual king size so it is 108 inches by 92 if I wanted to use this as a cover I could and I love this color love this color I think it's going to go beautifully with my bed if you remember my holiday decorating video I have a throw I won't say like super similar to this actually I think I put some clips because Casa Luna has another version of this it's the very big bulky kind of knitted throw that is an actual throw I purchased one from Threshold and I actually have it downstairs in a basket when I tell you that throw is a decorative throw because I will never use it again. It gets everywhere on your clothes, in your hair. It is just, it, it's, it's not practical for use. This is a very, very soft, not shedding, okay? Large, plush knit blanket, y'all. This is an actual blanket not a throw when i put it on the bed i think you'll get a better feel for what it adds to not just the bed but the overall coziness that it adds i got this like i said in a king this is the natural color i believe it was a really pretty like tillish kind of green that i was loving and i was like man should i should i switch it up should i do that right now i think i'm gonna just stick with the clean neutrals for the bed and I want to have that kind of as a base if I start to add pops of color if I feel it in my heart and my soul I'll do it down the line but right now we are just gonna start with the basics but I got this love it Woo! I'm so excited now this was literally just uh I don't even know y'all because <laughs> I really don't even use this I really don't use these but I just thought it was cute aesthetically I'm like hey I'm treating myself, so why not just go ahead and throw that in there? I went ahead and got the silk eye mask. Because <laughs> it's cute and it matches, so why not, right? Why freaking not? This was $15. Will I use it? Probably not. Who knows? Uh, I'll give y'all an update. Do people actually use these? That's a, that's a real question that I have. Do people actually use these? I'm sure they put them on during like, like the get ready with me videos, right? When they prop the camera up and lay back down type vibe <laughs> but do y'all use these let me know they got my love 15 charge it to aesthetics <laughs> and i realized i didn't even get a whole bunch the only other thing i got were these two throw pillows i got two of these i think this is a yeah this is a 24 by 24 I'm still a little iffy on these two pillows because in my mind, in my mind when I was in store, I was feeling like my bed was a little more browner than it is right now. I don't know what I was thinking, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep these, but we'll see once we get everything together. I got two of these just to kind of fill up the bed a little bit more um, and just add a little extra to it because I don't have a lot of pillows. Eventually I might like do a little bit more with the pillows, but this is what I got for the initial setup. This was $20. Uh, bring it down a little bit more. As you can see, it's like a suede type texture. And I wanted to just kind of like, you know, switch it up a little bit, add something a little different than what is already there. It's still a neutral, darker than the bedding, but lighter than the bed. Um, so I just want kind of like a mixture of the creams, the tans, and the whites. So we'll see how this goes. Sorry, y'all. I literally have paint on my hands. I was touching up the um, kitchen nook, which I might take out down there because I turned the table down there as well. Let me stay on track. That is what I got. <gasps> oh, let me show you something else I got from Target real quick. I'll be right back. Oh, I also got this. This is the Propagation Vase. Well, I consider it to be like a vase set because it's more than one vase, but how cute is this? Y'all know that I had the incident <laughs> with my philodendron Brazil. So I have those cuttings in water and I just think that this is a much more beautiful way to display them. Um, I was initially going to put them on the floating shelf underneath the television, but things are changing in there, I think. I think we'll see. Stay tuned in this video because we are going to 
talk about some new things y'all but how beautiful is that very simple it's got that brassy gold not too gold it says propagation vase but i'll call this the propagation station <laughs> it was 19.99 and it's actually in the new hearth and hand collection there was only one store like that had it and it was tough for me to try and find it but I got it and because I mentioned it this is my duvet comforter I got this from Marshall's it was $69.99 I did look up their reviews I have pretty good reviews I have not used this so I will give y'all like my thoughts and update if y'all want this was $69.99 but this is just a king duvet it seems to be really, really good quality, y'all. Um, I know you're not really seeing much, but it's got kind of like a silky yet soft feel. And it's supposed to be like temperature regulating and all that stuff to help keep you cool. I'm a night sweater, so I'm hopeful this will help me. I remember just using a bunch of my credit card rewards on this, so I don't think I even paid much on it out the pocket. Anyway, let me show you what we're working with. All right, y'all, here is a like stand back kind of look at the bed. Somebody will ask, this is the Langford King bed from Ashley Furniture. I have a whole video of me <laughs> setting this up, putting it together. I still absolutely love this bed, even though I don't sleep in it much. <laughs> it really has nothing to do with the bed. Just like I said, my own bad habits. But like stepping back, y'all, and looking at it from an entry area, it's not like the worst thing you've ever seen, right? But the bed is giving very much flat. Not only that, let's give a real good look. Oh, hell no! Yes, girl, this is how I am living. <laughs> this is a queen <laughs> duvet. I got it from Target over five years ago, y'all. And when I say over five, it's more than like, like way more than that. But <laughs> yeah, this has been my queen comforter that has come with me everywhere okay and not only that it's the same on this side as well when i hop into bed to go to sleep is it comfortable absolutely i grab my cover i snuggle up it's amazing but this cover is not for this bed this isn't the first time y'all have seen it i've literally shown me putting this cover back on this bed after the setup after the mattress everything so i say all of this not necessarily with pride, but it's no shame in my game, honey. I am the queen of making work what I need to work while I have to have it work. <laughs> that side table was very, very temporary. I took that out of the office um, just to have somewhere to put my alarm clock, a whole thing. But this is the bed, y'all. This is the bed. Like I said, I just have my regular basic sheets underneath the sheets. I have my mattress cover we've just got the regular pillowcases okay king size pillowcases these obviously came with the bed so this is what we're working with y'all a very simple setup and what we're gonna do is take this down we are going to bring in the new bedding step back and hope to be a inspired <laughs> in the master bedroom painting is looking amazing by the way y'all I know I did that DIY and I still love it. I think it deserves to be seen in its full glory because in that video I didn't really fully realize that I didn't explain that it wasn't like completely dry yet. But yeah, still loving this. Think it's absolutely perfect for the space. So boom, I'm gonna prop y'all up. We are going to do a simple out with the old, in with the new. I am excited. Are y'all excited? I'm excited. Ah! Okay.
first of all, what kind of life have I been living, y'all? Oh my God. Camera doesn't even pick up how massive this bed is. A lot of y'all purchased it from my video. And if you know, you know. Only the inner portion is actually king. Just think, all of the extension of the platform is just in addition to. So this is definitely given California king. But anyway, I digress. Look how beautiful this is, okay? I think it's a perfect combination of the different tones of neutrals. I wanna point out that I wanna get a lumbar pillow here just to kind of top it off. Let me know what y'all think. Full disclosure, I am gonna disassemble and wash the bedding before I use it, but I wanted to just kind of like give y'all a fresh out of the package, what you get, what it looks like, feel and look. I'm in love. I am in love with how soft this linen is. It feels so light, so good. It's almost like if my pillow was a different color underneath that, you would be able to see like if it had a pattern or anything because it is actually thin. This is like real linen and it's so soft y'all. It's so soft, it is cool to the touch. I love the contrast of those two neutrals and I think they flow beautifully with this <laughs> blanket. We're not calling this a throw. This is a blanket baby because not only does it reach each end of this king size bed, okay? Each end is stretchy. So like I could pull it even more if I wanted. It's just the quality for me, y'all. I am so glad I went with this Casa Luna bedding. I mean, <laughs> I'm sleeping in my bed tonight. I am sleeping in my bed tonight without a doubt. Stepping back here, y'all, I just feel like, wow, this is my bed. <laughs> I absolutely love this bed. Y'all have to let me know what y'all think. This right here is 100% what I envisioned. Luxury, bright, fresh, still cozy, still warm, inviting, and just rich, y'all. This is not a how to set up your bed video. And honestly, I'm not even interested enough to have the perfect way to set my bed. I don't want that to be in my mind. I just wanna be able to make my bed beautifully in a way that I love. The lights are going down, so I'm actually glad that it is in this case because you're getting kind of like the different vibes of it, the different shades and a different kind of look, y'all. Oh my God. I can't, I, I really can't explain it enough. You see the wrinkling, but it's not, in a bad way. It just has that lived in linen feel. You could steam out the wrinkles. I'm sure over time they'll kind of go away. They don't bother me at all. I am absolutely in love and I'm not gonna say it anymore. <laughs> Tell me what y'all think about this bedding or any suggestions that y'all have. Okay, so real quick, when I went to Target in the Home Goods, y'all saw that TV console table that I saw, okay? This was yesterday. Now I explained in the video, and I don't know if I added that portion, but I feel like it's so similar to my sectional and my rug that I didn't want it to be too matchy-matchy, but that piece, y'all, is speaking to me. So I really want y'all thoughts on that for the living room. I take my time, and sometimes it even seems like a long time to like decorate or go to certain areas in the house. It is because for certain things, I want to allow myself the time to allow a piece to find me and y'all I just feel like this is either that piece or I need to scratch the itch. I need to at least see it in my space um, to really decide if it is for the house or not. So I really want y'all thoughts and opinions. I almost just bought it last night. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I almost just bought it, brought it home and just went from there but I really want to know what y'all think. I think it is absolutely beautiful and if I add like pops of black bring in the wood maybe decor pieces I have nothing on my walls so again there's still more decorating to do I think I can still warm up the space and work with that piece but I'm not 100% sure what I am 100% sure of is that console table is absolutely beautiful the color is super super unique 
to me. <laughs> um, it's not something that you're gonna walk into every store and see, and I just, it's speaking to me. So tell me what y'all think about that. Tell me what you think about the bed. Tell me what y'all think about like coming into this space. I think the more I sleep here, the more time I spend in here, the more inspired I'm gonna be to like really start bringing it to life. So comment below, let me know what y'all think. Thank you for coming along with me in this video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe it gave you a good idea or a closer look of the Casa Luna collection. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. I'm sending y'all the best vibes to start this new year. I'm super excited for everything that is to come and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Oh, this is where the console table will be. Make sure y'all let me know what y'all think. Oh my God, I'm just, I know it's gonna be a lot of neutral, I know, but is the piece not absolutely gorgeous? I have been eyeing. Why is natural sunlight so disrespectful? Like th this right here, this right here. Okay. Hey. <laughs> We all got that one weird thing that happened and you ain't got no choice but to just let it slide. What am I gonna do? Who out there? And I'm not one of those people. Don't show yourself. <laughs> Please. <laughs> let me turn this light on real quick. Let me see. Let me see if turning this light on helps at all. Ugh, no, I don't like that. Y'all just got to deal with it. <laughs> that made no sense. Why did you even try? What, what are you doing? Who are you? My baby been driving y'all, she tired. Mm -hmm. What your shirt say? Glasses make me sexy, girl. Get up out of here. She got a fresh retwist. I ain't got no retwist because my lock she got COVID. Check her out, let's get up in her scalp. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Bruno, you watching this right now. There ain't nothing you can do about it. Hashtag. I go I want good I go I want good I go I want good